There is an art to every craft, and shaving with a classic safety razor is no different. Baxter of California will show you the right way to do a traditional shave with a double-edged razor. While a little tricky to learn, this type of shaving minimizes razor bumps and irritation when done properly. It's also more economical and environmentally friendly, keeping expensive disposable cartridge razors out of landfills. Start by inserting the blade in the razor. Drop the blade in between the two pieces of the head and screw it into the base. You're ready to go. Before you get started, inspect your facial hair growth pattern. You'll need to know which direction your hair grows in order to shave properly. Before you shave, shower or apply a hot towel to your beard for about 30 seconds. Steam softens facial hair, making it significantly easier to shave. You also want to cleanse your beard. Try a combination of daily face wash and facial scrub. The face wash will cleanse your skin while the scrub helps remove dead skin cells and lift facial hair. Rinse well and pat dry. It's time for the shaving cream. Use a wet badger hair shave brush to evenly apply and lift your facial hair. Let the shaving cream sit on the skin for at least 30 seconds to soften the hair. Shave the sides of your face at your sideburn first, going in the direction of your hair growth. Shaving with the grain may not provide the closest shave, but it will provide a more comfortable shave with less irritation and also minimize ingrown hairs. The head of a classic razor does not swivel or pivot, so the angle at which you hold it is very important. Hold the razor at a 30 degree angle and take short, straight strokes. Allow the razor to glide across your skin without pushing into your skin, letting its weight do the work. Don't apply too much pressure or you will remove the top layer of your skin resulting in razor burn. The neck area tends to be more problematic for men because hair grows in many directions around the Adam's apple. This may require shaving in two to three directions. Master this and you can say goodbye to ingrown hair and bumps. Shave the difficult lip and chin areas last, permitting the cream to soften the hair longer. Follow your shave with a splash of cold water or a cold washcloth. Complete your shave by massaging a dime-sized amount of soothing aftershave balm to your face. We recommend alcohol-free aftershaves to minimize irritation. Now you're looking smooth. With a bit of practice, we're convinced you'll become a convert to this classic shaving method.